What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. You guys are in no deal. We're hopping back onto that ranked double ladder. Looking to grab some wins with this Chiyu team, but not just any Chiyu team. Obviously, we got the Fluttermane and Iron Bundle to pair up with Chiyu, but this time, we got ourselves Life Orb, Garchomp, and Serena. You guys are in no deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, I seriously do not know what you're doing. Click that big red subscribe button and join the Genius community. We actually have Breath of the Wild 2 or Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I like to call it Breath of the Wild 2. Coming out very, very soon. And I'm super excited to actually be bringing you guys a playthrough and guides and all that good stuff on that game. So stay up to date on that. I'm super excited for that because I was a big fan of the first one. I'm definitely going to be grinding and putting hours into the second one. But Pokemon content isn't going anywhere. We're going to be uploading probably both at the same time. Just to bring you guys something new and something fresh while Pokemon content is still coming out here. But we got Talon Fame for our first Pokemon for today's team preview. It got Gale Wings and the Safety Goggles as its item. It's got Brave Bird, Will-O-Wisp, Quick Guard, and Tailwind. I'm really liking this moveset because you can throw off opponents by Quick Guarding. You can set up Tailwind. You can burn. You can do damage at the same time. I like Talon Fame on this team. Garchomp is going to be our second Pokemon with the Fire Terror type. And the reason I said Fire Terror type is because Garchomp isn't that good without a good Terror type. I feel like Steel or Fire is very good from in Series 3. So if you're looking to rock Garchomp, roll out with those Terror types. This one has Rough Skin and a Life Orb as item. Dragon Call, EQ, Stomping Cantrum, and Protect. We got Chiyu in our third spot with the Beads of Ruin and the Choice Scarf as item. So it can pretty much outspeed most Pokemon. It has Heat Wave, Dark Pool, Snarl, and Overheat. Fluttermane is going to be in our fourth slot, and do I really need to say anything about this? I guess I will. It's Choice Specked with Dazzling Gleam, Moonblast, Shadow Ball, and Thunderbolt. Really strong Pokemon. Pair it up with you, make it do crazy damage. Same thing with Iron Bundle in our fifth slot. Iron Bundle is just like Fluttermane when you pair it up with you, it's doing crazy damage. This one's pretty normal with Booster Energy and a Cork Drive, Rocket Freeze Dry, Hydro Pump, Icy Wind, and Protect. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be Serena over here. And this Pokemon, I don't get to use too much on the rank ladder, but it is still very strong at the same time. It has an amazing ability called Queenly Majesty, which actually allows our opponent to not use first turn priority moves. So bullet punches, E-speed teams, sucker punches on Shen Pao can be offset by this ability. So I really do like that. We got the Miracle Seed as an item, powering up our Power Whip as our only hitting move. Then we got Helping Hand, Taunt, Protect. We can also use Serena over here with Chiyu to actually just help in hand, have Chiyu outspeed and do some crazy damage. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, rent the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that rank double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Life Orb Garchomp Series 3 team. First match coming at you guys, and we're going up against a Raichu team. I absolutely love Raichu, and I haven't used it in a while on the rank ladder, so super excited to be seeing this Pokemon. But I know it rocks Fake Out, I know it rocks Nuzzle. It's probably going to be trying to paralyze me or fake out. So I might want to lead the Pokemon Serena over here. Could be very good for us. They also have the Deli Bird, the Roar Moon, Intimidate Arcanine, and then they got Mimikyu, and last but not least, Great Tusk. How should I play this one? How should I lead? I could see an Intimidate Pokemon come back here right off the rip. So I might just want to go into... I could go Talonflame and Chiyu, which wouldn't be bad. I mean, we can always quick guard the fake out. Could be very good for us. I might want to do that. Might want to do that. Just quick guard the fake out and kind of go from there. I think that can work really well. I mean, if you want to go into Arcanine, I don't really mind taking an Intimidate from a Talonflame. It's not that big of a deal. But Iron Bundle is going to be beautiful here. And same thing with uh, Fluttermane. It's going to be amazing here. But I kind of want to sprint Garchomp. <laughs> I don't really want to do Fluttermane Iron Bundle. Just for the sake of like the viewers for this channel. Right? You guys don't want to see Fluttermane and Iron Bundle here. You guys want to see Garchomp. So I'm going to be bringing in Garchomp. Iron Bundle could do a lot of the heavy lifting, but we'll bring in Garchomp here. There's no need for me to bring in both. You guys seen it plenty of times. I use Fluttermane or Iron Bundle in every other video. So it's like, I got a chance to use Garchomp here. I know a lot of people like Garchomp, and I know Garchomp has fallen off in Series 3. So let's give the people what they want. I'm, I'm here for you guys. I'm here for you guys. Well, Arcanine and Iron B come out here, which, uh, okay, so no fake out. Um, pretty rough lead for us. I, I'm not even gonna lie. Pretty rough lead for us. I could double down into the bundle. I could double down in the bundle. He does not know I'm Sash, though. But do I want to double down into the bundle? I really do want to double down in the bundle. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to say you don't protect because you're a coward. Or you're not a coward. You're not a coward. Got my words mixed up. You're not protecting. You are not protecting this iron bundle. There's just no shot. So I'm going to double down into it. I'm going to choice into dark pools at the same time. That's my play. That is my play. I want this Pokemon gone. I want it off the field. I'm tired of dealing with it. There's just no way you protect with two fire Pokemon staring you in the face. So cool. No protect comes out here. He is going to take off my Gale Wings though. Kind of hurts. Choice Spec going to come out here. And we get a crit. 
That is huge. That is enormous. That is enormous. I wish I did set up Tailwind there. But it'd be like that. I might just quick guard this turn. Then I'll take some nice damage. I will take recoil. I probably could eat up an E speed. I probably could. But I could also quick guard here. So out comes the Roaring Moon, which I have my Iron B to kind of handle that. From here, hmm, what do I want to do? Because I am truly scarfed. Dark Pulse to Arcanine. I could just set up Talon, which I'm really leaning towards, right? I mean, we can eat up any speed all day. So, you know what? I'm going to go for the will o in the War Moon. Do I really need speed that much? I have Icy Wind Iron Bundle in the back end. So, I'd rather burn this thing. And then just keep my Dark Pulse flying into the Arcanine slot. Doing as much damage as I can. The e speed comes out there. Like I said, we can eat that up, no problem. I'm just hoping Talon can outspeed that War Moon. We almost pick up the KO there. He's going to Citrus Berry up here. And I guess we'll go from here. Again, I can always quick guard next turn if I want to. will o -Wisp does come back here. So big time plays from us, knowing that we're going to be able to eat up that E speed. We burn a big time physical attacker in the War Moon. That's a big turn from us. We still got our boys in the back end. I like where we're sitting. We need you going to D-dance up. Eh, that's fine. I mean, I can deal with you. I can deal with you. Hmm. So the play here is going to be... I can quick guard if I want to. Do I want a quick guard? That's the real question. That is the real question. Do I want a quick guard? I mean, yeah, I'm going to quick guard just so I can maybe try to set up a Tailwind another turn. Because he's just going to E-speed me down. Just going to E-speed me down. Unless you protect the Arcanine here. But, yeah, you're not protecting Arcanine. So I quick guard just to block this E-speed coming in here. Yes, sir. Now we can get rid of Arcanine. And we can have Talonflame for another turn. He's going to actually Acrobatics me. And deal some nice damage, but still. The reason I want to take him out like that is so I can potentially just set up a Tailwind for my team, right? It could be really good for us. So now Roaring Moon outspeeds me. Right now, Roaring Moon outspeeds me. And I think he wants to take out my Chiyu. I think 100% he wants to take out Chiyu. So I could Quick Guard again if I want to. I could do that. I, I'm trying to set up this Tailwind. I do have a Ghost Terra, but that's just no good. I'm just scared of the Shadow Sneak coming in here. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to go for Tailwind. I'm going to try to take off the Disguise here. And kind of get cooking from there. We both still have Terra, though. We both do still have Terra. Acrobax is going to fly here. It is going to KO me. Can you outspeed Talonflame? You should be able to outspeed. Just set up a nice Tailwind for the rest of the squad. That could be big time for us. Let's go. So the Quick Guard play last turn was huge. We got the burn onto this uh, War Moon. He has Dragon Ants, but I think we're fine here. And us using Quick Guard made this Mimikyu go into a Shadow Call rather than a Shadow Sneak. Thinking that we could possibly, you know, drop its... uh. Or pop a quick guard to block the shadow snake. So I like that. I don't mind this. Um, we have you two left. Fire and ice terror type. I mean, if do Flutterman would be gorgeous here, right? We should have if we brought Flutterman, we win this match hands down, no problem. But now Guard Chomp comes out here. Um And I think I'm just gonna protect and pop an EQ. I can hit EQ onto War Moon. Unless it terrestrializes into flying, right? So I think I just protect you and kind of just get after it. Or I can just go for an Icy Wind. And take off this guys and get a super effective shot. Which I'm really all about. And then just Dragon Call down this slot. I'm going to just try to get rid of this Warm Moon. He seems to be the problem. He seems to be the big time problem. So yeah, I'm going to go after Warm Moon here. I'm doubling down into the moon. Kind of. Warm Moon does protect. That's fine. We get this guys taken off here. Um, Mimikyu probably... I should have terrestrialized my Garchomp, to be honest with you guys. That was actually a terrible play by us. But hopefully he'll miss this player off. I should have terrestrialized the Garchomp. I don't know what I'm doing. What am I doing? What is Jeans doing? Because that might have just lost me the match. Because you're going to play rough me, aren't you? Aren't you going to play rough me, kind sir? I still feel as we have a shot here. Let's see. Player comes in here into the Iron Bundle. Okay, I'll take that all day. Maybe you thought I was protecting. Nah, son. We're not protecting. But from here... Hmm. I am just going to freeze dry this slot. And now I'm going to terrestrialize you. Did they terrestrialize already? I don't think they did, right? Arcanine didn't. Iron Bundle didn't. No, they still have Terra. They still have Terra. So I should have terrestrialized my Garchomp last turn. 100% should have terrestrialized it last turn. And I think instead of an EQ... I mean, we could go into an EQ... We could definitely go into an EQ. 
but I feel a stompy cantrips are play. So he might try shadow sneaking me, which could be a problem. Could be a problem. Cause shadow sneak might be able to KO me. Could be a little bit of a problem, but I'm gonna say my iron B can eat this one up. So I thrasalize my chomp. Be getting after it. Let's see how they play this one. Are you gonna shadow sneak me? Are you ghost terror? Who are you thrasalizing? This is a real question. Is it gonna be the moon? It is gonna be the moon while it's burned. Into straight flying, so we're still super effective onto it. I get down with a freeze dry. We're just hoping Shadow Sneak doesn't KO me here. Maybe I should have protected. And you don't even go for the Shadow Sneak, so you're dead, right? You're, you survive somehow. Kind of annoying, but that's fine. Burn will take it out. And Sopping Tantrum KO. So that is going to be the match. We did not need Fluttermane, but I did make a little mistake. Could have cost us a match if he actually would have play roughed into my Garchomp. But I guess he thought I was protecting. I guess our opponent thought... I was protecting, but Life Orb Garchomp picks up a big time KO on the Mimikyu. Out bulks this uh, Roar Moon, and Roar Moon's gonna die to this burn. So, again, we did not need Flutter Main. I love that I got to use Garchomp here in match number one, and more importantly, grab ourselves a victory. Second match is on its way. Going up against Palafin Ting Lu team. Seen this team plenty of times on the rank ladder. It is very strong and very dangerous. They also have the Flutter Main, the Iron Hands, Intimidate Arcanine, which I hate, but we're gonna have to deal with it. And last but not least, Amuga. So I could go into Serene over here. It is a physical attacker, but it does block Fake Out with its first turn priority, which I, I adore. I do adore. I could go into Chi Yu and Flutter Me, which could be awesome. Here. Could be actually really, really good for us. So you know what? I'm going to do that. Chi Yu Flutter Me is going to come in here for the lead. I am going to bring Serene as a back end Pokemon. I do like it, especially up against uh, Pokemon like Ting Lu or Palafin. And then last but not least, Iron Bundle's so good. <laughs> He's so good, but I don't want to use it. I think we're just going to go Garchomp again. Have some fun with this one. We could actually not use Serene and bring Iron Bundle and Garchomp, which I think I like a bit more because Serene's... Eh. Iron Bundle does what Serene can too, right? With the Freeze Dry. And it just does more. It just does more. So, you know, we're going to do exactly that. I'll bring Serene in the final battle for you guys. Get some action with that Pokemon. But in this instance, we... we Iron Bundle's there. Iron Bundle does exactly what Serene would have done in this battle. Serene would have just been super effective onto the uh, onto the Palafin and the Tinglu with the Power Whip. And on top of that, it would have blocked Fake Out. That was like the only difference. But Iron Bundle is super effective on the both and does more damage. Plus, it's a special attack to compare up with Chi Yu. I don't have to worry about the uh, Intimidate coming out here. Everything just works wonders. The Chi Yu Fluttermane come out here. Uh, I could just tear into Ghost, which I think is going to be my play, right? I think I must tear it into Ghost, and I must just start sending these Dazzle Gleams, right? You are not Ghost, so you know what? I guess we'll just rip Heat Waves. And are you Fairy? You are Fairy. I mean, Gleam's gonna be your best friend here. So yeah, I'm gonna, uh, I'm just gonna rip into this. I'm just gonna go straight Fairy here. Straight Fairy getting off as much damage as I can. It's easily the plan, right? I mean, they have two Pokemon that are weak to, uh, Fairy moves. They're probably gonna Terrasalize one, maybe protect the other. Maybe. I doubt they fake out my Fluttermane, right? Probably going after my Chiyu. If they fake out my Fluttermane and predict the Terror type here, that's wild. He opts to just attack, and he does not Terrasalize, which is a little odd. A tad bit odd. So Heat Wave's gonna fly. Can we get the burn on Ting Lu? Maybe, possibly, that'd be great. What we could cook him with. No burn. Gleam's gonna fly here. Gleam should do a nice chunk of damage. Gleam should do a nice little chunk of damage here. Let's see. How much damage is he doing? Oh yeah, we like that a lot. We like that a lot. Heavy Slam comes out here, and mm, that KOs me. I was hoping, I know that a lot of things lose Rock Heavy Slam, but I was hoping we can eat up at least one, right? That could be big time, but I don't think we're sitting in a bad position. I really don't see us sitting in a bad position, because I could just bring out the boy, the one, the only, Garchomp. The one and only Garchomp. Chomp, chomp, chomp. We are choice to a Heat Wave now. We are choice to a Heat Wave. So I'm going to have to go after it. I'm going to hope that I can KO that Ting Lu. And then we'll just rip into a stopping tantrum, or is that thing going to terrasalize? I could read a terrasalize, right? But maybe it doesn't, so I'm still going to rip into a stomping tantrum. I'm going to say it doesn't. I'm going to hope it doesn't, I should say, right? It probably is, but I'm going to hope that it doesn't. I'm just going to play the simple plays here. Maybe he's saving his ter terrasalization for Pokemon in the back end. We'll see. They just swap. Okay, so we stay in here pretty well here. Do they have any flying type Pokemon I have to worry about? Kind of forget. It's gonna be Arcanine. I'm down. I'm down for you to go into Arcanine. You can intimidate me. I can off a stop and catch him. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. I'm so cool with that. Can we take out this Ting Lu? 
We do. That's big time. I like that a lot. That's big time. This stop and catch up should do a nice chunk of damage. Maybe even chaos, even with the minus one. Stop and catch up coming in hot here. So close. Heat wave can finish that off. I like that. I like that. We still got the, the iron bundle in the back end. They still have the iron hands who they probably bring out here, right? They probably bring out. No, they bring out Flutter Flutter. Flutter Flutter comes out here. And I think the play here would just be pop a heat wave because we are choiced. And. We could get our booster energy person. We could get out our booster energy. But I think we're fine. As long as we can land a heat wave, I think we just protect this turn. We can land a heat wave. Night, night. We can pretty much settle this battle down. Right? Because booster energy iron bottle is going to come out of your outspeed moves. Pick up whatever mess is left. E speed's going to come out of your. And are you double down on my Chiyu? Probably just gleaming, right? Heat wave's still going to come out of your. Big time damage. We like that. Give me, give me a little burn action. Just so another heat wave can KO. A little burn action. No siree. Gleam's gonna KO me. So Gleam will take me out. I think play here. I mean, he can fake me out. We already know. Oh, wow. You didn't KO me. Oh, all right. Say less. <laughs> I'll take that. I will take that. Um. Okay. Fake out's a little scary. Fake out is definitely a little scary. And I can't really do much about it. I should go for the EQ. I'm going for the EQ Heat Wave here. Get off as much damage as I can, but I think they pick up the easy double KO. He ends up detecting. That's that's odd. That is odd that you're detecting here. That's odd that you detect here. They still have Terra type. I do not. Heat wave goes first, and we almost pick up the KO. No burn either. That is rough. Definition of rough. Because now I pretty much lose this match, right? It's Iron B one on one. I don't think we can get it done. I don't think we can get it done. That is rough right there. That is rough right there. One on one, I don't think we're getting this done. Um, we don't have terror type. Could Hydra Pump. Icy Wind's got to be your play, first and foremost. And then we got to hope we can eat up a shot, and it's just not happening. And the reason we have the Icy Wind is because we have to get rid of Flutter Mane. Flutter Mane's got to go. We can't really have that thing on the field. So, Icy Wind's going to be our play one. And if they, for some reason, don't decide or mess up, misclick or something, maybe we can have a shot at this. But. Either a Drain Punch or a uh, or a Wild Charge really just rips into me and KOs me, right? So yeah, that's going to be the game. That is going to be the game. Faux Show. Faux Show. Drain Punch, right? Dead? Yeah. Iron Hands hits hard. He hits way too hard. Second match. Quick one for you guys. Our opponent takes the dub. We're going to hop into our third and final match. And we're going to grab ourselves a win and guarantee ourselves a winning record. Final match coming at you guys. We're going up against a semi trick room team, right? You see a Rangaroo, you see Iron Hands, you think of trick room. They also have the uh, the Rangaroo, and then they have the snow combo, Obama Snow, Deli Bird, and then last but not least, Chiyu to kind of mesh all those special attackers together. How should we play this one? How should we get after it? I kind of like Serene here, right? You got the Fire Terror type pretty good here, especially up against Deli Bird. So I kind of like leading this because we can block Fake Out as well. So I'm going to lead that Pokemon. I am going to also lead the Chiyu. I like Chiyu here, especially Choice Scarf. If they want to go into a Rangaroo, I can always just start pulse it down. And I really like that. So then, other two Pokemon, we're going to go with the big guns. We're going to go Flutter Main. We're going to go Iron Bundle. We're going to look for a win for you guys in uh, match number three. We're going to look for a win for you guys in match number three. We definitely want to grab ourselves a win here. That'd be awesome. But uh, I want to get a little bit of a poll going. Not really a poll. If you guys are sitting here watching the third and final battle, give me a hashtag third and final battle crew down in the comment section down below. It lets me know you guys are the real ones. You guys should watch my videos all the way through. Not saying that the people who don't watch my videos aren't real ones, but you guys are watching all the way through. You guys, you guys are enjoying. You guys are definitely enjoying. So if you are watching this battle, give me a little bit of hashtag third and final battle crew down in the comment section down below. But uh. Chiyu and Bundle come out here, and I'm thinking I'm just going to Thrasilize and launch Power Whip, right? Makes the most sense. And I could actually hard swap Serene. Well, not Serene, Chiyu for somebody else. Right, I don't want... Mm, I really don't want a Power Whip coming in here. It'd be scary. Or not Power Whip, a uh, Hydro Pump coming in the slot. But I am going to choice into a Dark Pulse. I like Dark Pulse a bit more. I'm going to go after Chiyu to maybe try to get Flinch, and this actually works that you're going to... You're gonna swap that Pokemon. Into who? A bomb of snow comes out here. So he's set in the snow. Good thing I'm Thrasilizing into straight fire. Because I'm not dealing with all these ice moves. I'm not trying to deal with it. Wow, Heat Wave would have worked wonders here. But we're gonna we're gonna hope that Power Whip can just take out the Deli Bird. Power Whip should do a good amount of damage. Because we kinda only have one shot in this, right? 
If he protects here, that's that's terrible. But I don't think he's gonna protect. Dark Pulse is gonna fly here. That's gonna be some big time damage. And then an Aurora Veil gets set up by the Deli Bird. I don't like that. I simply don't like that. Power Ups gonna come out of here. How much damage are we doing? That's some big time damage. I do believe that Dark Pulse can KO after that. So from here, I am just gonna protect Serene. And I'm gonna Dark Pulse down to Deli Bird slot. Hmm, this should be a good battle, especially with Rorvel out and about. It's a problem. Rorvel's a problem. I'm surprised they didn't just lead those two, right? I mean, if they did, I probably would have just ripped into Heat Wave, right? Now I'm kind of wishing I choice into Heat Wave. Heat Wave would have been awesome. <laughs> it would have just ripped. It would have been easy double kill. It would have been easy double kill, even through to Rorvel, because uh, Obama Snow is four times super effective, or four times weak to that. So, could have been a big turn, but no, Jeans had to blow it. Hard swap on the Bomber Snow. Okay, I feel you. And Chiyu comes back out and about. Alright. I feel you, Chiyu. I feel you. Protect comes out from my Serene. We're dipping and dodging. And Dark Pole should KO you, right? See you later. Big time KO. So they pick up the KO there. We have Serene on fire at full health. We have Chiyu choice into a Dark Pole, so. Whoever comes in this left slot is getting Dark Pulse down, and it's going to be a Wrangler. Cool. So Wrangler comes out here. Um, We're going to be super effective at that. I could taunt it, but it's probably Mental Herb, right? I'm going to double down on Wrangler. I'm not dealing with that. Actually, it could Instruct. Instruct could be a little bit of a problem, but that's why we're doubling down into it. We're looking to get rid of it. I could actually swap the Chiyu. Just so I can reset my choice. But I like Dark Pulse here. I don't, I don't mind Dark Pulse here, so I'm going to stick with it. I am going to stick with it. Dark Pulse is going to fly here. This should be some nice damage. Picking up half health. And Power Up is also going to fly here. And KO and yo, Serene! Doing work! Doing work! It's a good thing I did stay in there. Now would be the time to swap Chiyu. Chiyu's going to rip with a Dark Pulse into Serene. And yeah, okay, you're gone. Goner. Goner. But did some work. Got rid of Ranguru and a big time Deli Bird KO. Now I can bring out my Deli Bird. Now I can simply bring out my Deli Bird. So I'm going to bring this thing out. I'm just gonna keep Dark Pulsing into that Bomba Snow slot. And we'll go from there. Iron B out and about. The Iron B. The one and only Iron B. So probably a Terra is gonna come out here from the Chiyu, right? 100%. So I'm gonna go into a freeze dry. I'm gonna go into a freeze dry. I'm I'm cool with reading that. I'm cool with reading that Terra. 100 percent Terrasa, because you're not gonna stay in here for a hydro pump. You're not gonna do it. You just it's just highly unlikely. You're terrestrializing your little fish, probably going to ghost type, and I'd rather go into a move that has a higher accuracy chance and could do some big time damage with Chiyu next to it. It's just a simple play, right? It's a simple terror read, and there it is. I told you guys, I got you guys. I got you guys with the good content. I got you guys all day. See? Too easy. Oh, and it's a water. Oh my lord. Come on, man. That's too easy. That is too easy. That is just too easy. Opponent probably thinks we're hacking or something. That's too easy. That's some big time damage. We're about definitely helping our opponent out there. Dark Pulse says bye bye to Bama. So come on, man. That's too easy. That is way too easy. Dark Pulse flies here. We soak. We do not soak. We do not. We try, but it happens. <laughs> I thought we would soak that, but it's all good. We got Fluttermane in the back end. We can now Dark Pulse KO with Chiyu. We can uh, throw a Moonblast KO with Fluttermane. Come on, man. That is just too easy. It is way too easy out here. I'm going to do that. I'm going to rip it with the pulse. Game set match. Game set match, correct? Not yet. Not yet. Fluttermane's got this. Fluttermane out speeds too. Night, night. 2 and 1 winning record. Got the showcase screen in that third and final battle. Absolutely love this team. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Another winning record on the Jeans channel for you guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. I absolutely love this team. You have the Chiyu, Fluttermane, Iron Bundle, all doing the heavy lifting. But we also got out Talon playing Garchomp and Serene, who did a big chunk of work. They were KOing. They were making some big plays. Talon playing match number one with the Quick Guard and Will O Wisp. Garchomp, I think it was match number one or was match number two, was picking up some big time damage with Sopping Catch him. And then Serene in the third and final battle. 
just just went off right power whip ko and pokemon love this pokemon so much but guys that's gonna be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spread spots every day i'll catch you on the next one peace out everybody